So for this question, which is question 1C, I would like to thank Yassin for pointing that out I made a mistake. So for this question, it is regarding upper bound. Okay, so in our case, it is talking about a piece of fabric and cut into dress length. So for the fabric, you are required to add 2.5 which is half of what it was rounded up to. Okay, so five, half of it is 2.5. Whereby for the dress length, okay, you are required to round it down instead. Okay, so you are required to minus off 0.5 instead of, like what I did, I added 0.5 into it. Okay, so after you run the calculation, it's actually about 602.5 over 8.5 so your answer will be 70 so do take note on characteristic of the upper bound question so sometimes you are required to add sometimes you are required to minus it off okay so you are required to run the analysis Thank you for watching. This is a quick video for our question 6 part B. So one of our viewer, Wali, actually pointed out that I made a mistake in the video. Okay, the reason why I got it wrong is because I oversee the inequality symbols. Okay, so the two lines here play a significant role, which is Y less than 50 and y more than x okay so these two lines is a dotted line which means any point that uh, that crosses them will not be considered so for the previous two points that I've actually selected it's actually touching the line so the next possible points that can be used will be 45 25 and 40 30 respectively so you're required to run a comparison on the final price of these two amount so the most they could spend will be $185 so do take note on this mistake okay, and apply this knowledge into your upcoming examination so for the next question that we are discussing today will be 7D part 2 okay so for this part okay I did a mistake on the 25% okay so if you take 160 times 25% you will get 40 However, I took 30 instead. So after I do the correction, as you can see, the line should be pointing to somewhere around 39 minutes. So you take 77 minus 39 and you ended up with 38. Okay, so do avoid all this kind of silly mistake at all costs. Okay, and lastly, it will be 10B part 1. Okay, this is also identified by Yasin. Okay, it is for the Y coordinate, it should be 12 minus 4 divided by 2. Okay, so however, I treat it as 12 plus 4 instead. So if you run the calculation again, you will get 4 as the final results. So as you can see from all this mistake I've done, okay, as silly as it may sound, okay, it might happen to you during your exam. Okay, so do take note and read the question carefully. No matter how confident you are, you're still required to double check. <laughs> okay, don't repeat the mistake that I did. Okay, so I wish you all the best in your upcoming examination and stay tuned for more.